Hello traders, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the initial balance, what it is, how you can trade it and how you can use it to gain an edge over the market and to form a bias for your trading. So the initial balance is very simply the price range which has been formed during the opening period of a trading session. It's most commonly accepted as the first hour of trading, however it does not always have to be this way. It's useful for forming a bias for the session by knowing what the intent of the market is early on. Okay, so just a little quick diagram for this. Here's your daily open. Here is the first hour of trading and your initial balance is formed from the high and the low that is put in for that first hour of trading. Now, this is just using that typical first step of um, using the first hour. But again, I will explain a little bit later on of how you can use alternatives for this in order to switch up your initial balance very slightly if you wish to do so. So uh, yeah, so the initial balance core concepts, okay, they revolve around three things which help you to gain an edge on the market. <clears throat> so you're looking for initial balance volume, you are looking at the initial balance range, and you are looking at the position of the daily open. Okay, so first of all, your volume. So this is just the general rules for the initial balance. If you see higher volume within the initial balance, it indicates that bigger traders are active and interest in price at that level. Okay, so you see a lot of a lot of volume coming in early on as the new session opens. It shows that the traders are there; they're willing to transact at this price. They're happy with price being where it is. So this increases the likelihood of a range-bound session because you've got the big participants in. They know where they want to long, they know where they want to short, they know where they want to buy and sell, and so on. And uh, it does increase the likelihood of a range bound session if you get high volume on your initial balance. Then if you get low volume, of course, on the opposite side, it shows that there is less interest in transacting at that level, okay? The big players, really not too fussed here. You've got smaller players like chopping around, kind of making very little impact on price, <clears throat> which then increases the likelihood of a trending move out of that session, okay? So if you have a very low in low volume initial balance, it's likely that eventually, let's bring up the drawing back on again here, it's quite likely, so say this is low volume, that if price comes up here, it's not really going to be that you're not going to be forced back inside here because there's not been a lot of larger participants in this. However, if you were to see high volume on here and price started to search outside, the bigger players might be like, no, nah, you know what, we're going to take this back down to the lows of the initial balance and you start to form a range here, okay? So that's just the, the basis off of the, the volume, first of all. Now, the other thing that you can use to tie into that is your range, okay? So very similar to the volume, if you have a large range here, then again, once again, this isn't very level, is it? <laughs> once again, a larger range kind of ties in with larger volume, okay? If you're, if you're seeing big volume, you're likely to see a bigger range in price, but it's the same thing, like look at them both together. So again, bigger traders active and interested in that level, and it increases the likelihood of a range bound session. Okay, so if you see high volume and a large range, then it's more likely that you're going to be contained within that range for the duration of the session. At the same time, if you see low volume here, it once again shows less interest in transacting at that level and increases the likelihood of a trending session. So let's once again say your initial balance here is say 500 ticks and you're generally talking maybe generally speaking your ranges do between like two to three hundred it's a really wide initial balance so you'd be more likely to see this contained within here to continue a range bound session on this move however if your initial balance you're used to seeing range bound days of 500 ticks and say your initial balance is 100 then it's quite likely once again you get a move outside of it you'll likely see continuation of that in order to fulfill the usual day's range of trading. Okay, and the final concept of this is your daily open. Okay, now this is quite important as well. So if you have a daily open that is near the initial balance low and the initial balance then moves up from there. So let me just again draw this on this chart. So here's our daily open. If you have a daily open all the way down here and your initial balance looks a little something like this, 
okay? So you come down, you form this low, so I didn't quite get it at the low, but you come down, you form the low, and you end up at the highs, maybe getting a little retrace before the end of the hour. It shows that participants have driven price up on open, obviously, yeah? <coughs> so then you have a higher probability of this move continuing. You're already in an uptrend, okay? So it's a higher probability that this initial balance gets broken and we see a move out of it, okay? Then we can move our initial balance back into the middle. So middle of IB shows acceptance of opening price. It increases the likelihood of a range bound session and you can fade moves either side of the initial balance back in to the daily open. So once again, you have your daily open, it comes up to your highs, it comes down to your lows, it chops around a little bit. And then after an hour, you have a move outside. No, you know what? We've got acceptance at this price here. We can trade it back towards our daily open, look for a bounce, maybe not, let's try the other side of it. Come out, no, you know what, we're going to come back in and we're going to keep on chopping around this daily open and just forming a range for the rest of the day. And then, of course, you have on the other side with your initial balance up at the highs here. So your daily open, sorry, up at the highs here. Price comes down, makes a quick move up before trending downwards. Maybe it comes back up towards here. But at this point, your initial, your daily open is up at the highs. Participants have driven price down on open, leading to a higher probability of a down trending session. So again, you can say price has moved out of here. At this point, your daily opens a long way away. You're going to have to change market structure. So here's the level. Let's reject and let's continue this trend down to the downside, of course. So that's just the basic like core concepts of the <coughs> of the initial balance itself. Now, if I just remove all of this from my chart and we can start to take a look at this on EXO. Now, there are two ways in which you can can look at this on a chart. So the first, if you're very simply using TradingView, there is an indicator within TradingView. If you just search for initial balance, IB, you can see there's one here from Spartan J. Uh, I don't know who that is, but it seems to be quite nice. And you can click on that. It gives you your initial balance and you can see it just pop up on the chart looking like this. OK, so this is highlighting all of the initial balance for you within the day. Now, the other thing that is useful for this, of course, is to add your daily open onto this. So, of course, on each session, it would be useful to know where your daily open is so that you can form a bias for the for the day ahead. So let's take a look at this. Let's have a look at each of our daily opens. And what I tend to do just for that is you're looking at, obviously, our, our 1 a.m. on here. You can take this back. Again, the previous day, we have our daily open here. <clears throat> and you can start to see how price has moved around within these daily opens over the past few days and you can continue this onwards. So today, good example of this, okay? So what we had initially, wide initial balance, okay? And we can bring the volume up onto this as well. Wide initial balance, quite high volume. So what you saw, at least early on in the day, was it was contained within this range. For a good, well, over 12 hours, more than half of the day, Okay, remember crypto is 24 hours. So just to take the first hour of trading, it's got a lot of time. That's a lot of time to be contained within this, in, this initial balance, but it can at least give you an edge early on to know what price is likely to do for the first portion at least of the day. And again, we can go into a bit more detail on this and looking at sessions in just a moment. But here's your initial balance. You are range bound. The other important thing with this is where is our daily open, okay? It's all the way down at this low. So what you see price doing, you form an initial balance that comes all the way up to this high here, showing that it's likely that we're going to be range bound for a while, but the bias would be to the upside. So what do you do? You come back in, you test your daily open, you test the high of the initial balance, you come back in again, and then you form this trend that moves out of it, a really nice move higher on days before. Okay, so we can have a look at this. In this instance, we've got a daily open that's fairly in the middle okay so you can see our initial balance on this occasion coming up from your <coughs> starting up well starting down here coming down then coming up and then you start to get a move outside of it 
once again we can take a look at the volume and you can see that overall you've got a little bit of volume here than what you were seeing uh, later on in the day so relatively okay volume nothing nothing stand out on this but it does mean again that the trending day kind of theory is playing out and you you have a move above it gets faded back into the daily open comes back below gets faded back into the daily open once again tries to go lower again once again back into your daily open and then eventually starts to form this trend out of that so again seeing how the initial balance and the daily open acting as both support and resistance levels as you're coming above and below it so you can see the attempt to hold and for price to go lower and once again an attempt to hold and for price to go lower but wasn't able to do it then where is the significant level is that daily open once again on this again going back into the another day previously a very narrow initial balance actually in this instance probably low volume as well lowish it's kind of here and all there these these examples are, are kind of like in the middle a little bit but again you've got the you've got the move up the move down gets faded gets faded where does it keep coming back to is your daily open okay and then what happens you start to hold outside you start to get this acceptance outside of it are we going to see a trend out of this let's just test the daily open for support yes we're going to hold this as support and then we're going to get a trending move out of it again now obviously that ended up failing but you can see how the importance of these levels early on in the day especially do play a big part in what price action does for the rest of the day now the other way to look at this and this is the way that i do prefer to look at it is very simply bring on a tpo okay so this is your tpo chart shows you your daily open here very clearly with the green marker and shows you your initial balance again very clearly with this blue line today again for example we have a wide initial balance with high volume keeping us range bound for a while and then what happens when you see these these wide initial balance if you do get a breakout they're likely to be quite violent okay because the market very happy to trade within these areas you're going to need size to break out of it and with size comes these big moves yeah we go back and again we can see the how price fades keeps coming in to your daily open tries to get outside the initial balance and then once again fairly high volume fairly wide you get size and then you get a big break out of it and we can go back and back test these things uh <laughs> as much as we like really and um start to have a look here here's a really good example of incredibly low volume here on this this initial balance okay so you can see there's barely any volume really that's being transacted there it just drops off look at all the volume that you've had earlier on in the day and here initial balance this first hour of trading doesn't even barely even registers yeah so what happens you put in your initial balance you start to maybe trend out of it no that's not going to work you come back in attempt to hold this daily open can't do it break below and at this point you see this h candle coming into your eye the eye not being able to get back in to the initial balance it's rejecting and then you have a strong trending move out of that okay and again here your daily open fairly in the middle uh, not really a trend that's formed so it does test both ways eventually was unable to break higher and then of course because you've got no bias on this you can't break higher you're likely to go to the lows of the range and then what happens is you do have that trending move out of it once again here an initial balance here that is relatively low on volume relatively thin it tests to the downside can't really hold has a move up and then gets faded completely and then you get a trending move out of it again so you can see how it is useful uh, with price again fairly low volume on here price mainly trending up the daily open being quite low on this occasion and then you get the trending move higher so it helps to form a bias okay it doesn't always work out and it's not always perfect that's the thing it's not a here's your open here's your initial balance it's going to remain range bound for the rest of the day it's not like that at all it just helps to form a bias and you can get some good information from the initial balance on here <laughs> at this point i started going over some strategies and some other methods that you can use to trade this and got a little bit sidetracked but i'm going to end this video uh, as the public youtube 
section of this video. I'm going to create a part two for this that will be going over our sessions. So do watch out for that. And then everyone who is within the crew, we are going to be looking at our initial balance strategies on the next playbook update when this is released next Wednesday. <clears throat> so just very simply, uh, here's our sessions strategy and in part two you will learn again how to trade based off the initial balance for every session and also how you can use entire sessions as an initial balance in itself so not just the one hour but using an entire session to form a bias for the rest of the trading day so in our instance we are in the uk here i like to use the open session to give a bias for what the rest of the day is going to give us. And you can see here how these can be traded. Once again, you have your initial balance for the session itself, and then you have the session as a whole, which can give you that bias for the rest of the trending day. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do watch out for part two of this video, which will come whenever I make it. And uh, again, for the crew, we will be doing a playbook update on this on how to trade these effectively next week so thank you very much and i'll catch you in the next video cheers bye